is where Cleveland's front office and particularly their draft and development department, they will have an interesting menu to say the least. Yes, position players have been the story so far this year, but Paul Skeens went number one overall last year, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and just maybe another arm out of Wake Forest could ascend to that number one spot. A freight train fastball, a sickening slider, and a fierce mound demeanor. Right-handed pitcher Chase Burns epitomizes everything you desire in a future top of the rotation major league ace. He transferred from the University of Tennessee this past offseason to Wake Forest and thrived in a pitching developmental system that catapulted his stock near the top of many major league draft boards. Burns' power fastball sits around 98 miles an hour, regularly hitting the low 100s throughout his outings. That average fastball velocity puts him just behind Pittsburgh Pirates righty and last year's number one overall draft selection, Paul Skeens, LA Angels starter Jose Soriano, and LA Dodgers phenom Bobby Miller. Burns' wipeout slider draws comparisons to World Series champion closer Brad Lidge and current San Diego Padres starter Dylan Cease. It's an overpowering one-two punch that some GMs believe may be even better than Skeens, who made his major league debut this May, just a handful of months after draft day in 2023. The efficiency of his starts is something to marvel at, averaging almost two strikeouts per inning while walking less than 8% of the total batters he faced in his entire college career. The development of a changeup and further sharpening of his curveball are next on the priority list once his professional career begins. Nevertheless, Chase Burns will be impacting a major league rotation in the not too distant future. Certainly is tempting to take a guy like that with this sort of potential. I mean, in college, he's done everything he can. Yeah, you think about David Price, Chris Sale, who uh, were drafted, developed, and even came up as relievers. I know there's been people out there who say, if you take him one overall, does he find his way into a major league bullpen? And, hey, the way the Guardians are going right now, it's an intriguing option. Not to say that it'll be all the way there and he'll get there right after draft day, but I'll be interested to see what they decide.